M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Mistastic system and the many, many devices that you can purchase. One of them is the Heltec Tracker. I do like this device because it includes GPS. It doesn't include a battery. You can attach an antenna, antenna here and an antenna extension. Also, you can buy a nice case like this made by socket hub on ebay and it includes this particular model includes a super duper antenna look at that wow yeah and also if we take the the lid off the case like so and that's your sort of so it would go that way around by the way you program through and reset there antenna would stick out this way around and you can fold it if you want and stand it you know if you fold it you can stand it on its side but anyway take the case off and look what we've got inside we have an antenna. The only downside is, and I have made a video doing this, I'll just get a torch there. On the right hand side, you've got to solder a couple of the power, you know, the live and the earth to that tiny little square. Now, lucky for me, I have the cable. They do tend to come with these devices. And there are cases that will fit on the Heltec version three, which is very popular. This is the Heltec version three, and it, it's it, it's got a built-in sort of antenna. So the antenna that comes with the unit tends to look a bit like that, I suppose. Um, and they're built in, and this is a, a very neat setup. It looks like it needs charging, but the controls are the same. You scroll through here, and you can get to the USB-C charging, which many of these items are USB-C. The this is called the Liligo T-Beam, includes GPS as well and that's micro usb this the heltec tracker in my hand is usb c so it's it's a very neat little package so what we're going to do is get these wires and solder them to the appro appropriate connectors so all you do is lift out the connector here so it just literally lifts that it's like an old you know um let's call it a camera battery so it just lifts out and then the connector becomes loose and so remember you want it the way around you want it this way around when you're putting it putting it back together with the three pins and see the little shape that you've got there the wider part of the shape is facing you know this side the wider part just so you know make sure so then we can get our live and our earth the right way around so if you look here live so you can see the minus and the live so we need to get the the cables the right way around so on the little adapter what I will do is solder, when it's this way round, I will solder, as per what you can see, the black wire on the left hand tip here and the red wire on the other side with my little soldering iron. So as a reminder, I've got the battery there, black and red, uh, so we just want black and red there, nice and straightforward. So what I do is just add a bit of flux on both and then get my, my soldering iron and solder ready and away we go. Okay, I did cut the wires a little bit shorter so there's not much showing. So that's soldered on there now. Black and red, so black to the left. Let's put the battery back in. There's a push back into place. It's a BL5C, the battery, so look, it all clips into place. Now we get our device. We've got a few different antenna connectors, but we're going to try this one. It won't go in from the inside, but you know, maybe the one you that came with your device does. So I'm going to poke it from here through, like so, and then connect it to my Heltec, like so. Then the power is going to go into that connector there. As soon as I plug the power in, it comes to life. You can see this unit has got the GPS built in. Got USB-C there, which we're going to slot just into that groove there. Looks very neat. Let's put the cover on. The cover literally just pushes on. Get it the right way around. Of course, you can see which way around because of the GPS antenna. You've got your buttons there. It's probably better to clip it into the head unit first, I would say, before putting it into the base unit like that look so it just, it just clips in literally just go with the groove and just clip it in and then just put the usb side in first usb c and then 
clip it. So that's pretty much done. So the only thing I've got to do, which I don't have to do this second, is just work out how I can uh, screw the sort of super antenna that we've got, this thing here. Um, it, you know, so that it works with that hole, but it's, you know, they come with nuts and bolts. It's just a bit of configuration and tinkering. Let's go by a window and see if we get any signals. There you go. We'll leave it there for a couple of minutes. I've actually got an external antenna that I'll be testing soon. It was only about 20 pound. But this is a completely portable solution because you've got a built-in battery. You've got, you know, completely configured. GPS built in. Now to look for what signals you're getting. Hopefully you won't drop out the window this time. Just press the P and we'll check our app as well. As you go through the P. I haven't turned this one on for a few days, you see. Go through the P. We're on channel long fast, which seems to be the one. Keep pressing through. Just scroll in. Leaden Hill. World Manor. What's that one? Brett. Hi, Brett. And they're older, older signals. Now it looks like we've got a GPS lock because it's showing one on the top right hand side it's saying six satellites there's my location so that shows that the GPS is working that's me sending a message to myself if we look here we can see that my two devices are showing up and these are the two that I'm using at the moment, that's your Lily Go. And um, there's our app. If we go to messages, we're on the long fast channel. You can, the way you can synchronize channel is just go to the QR code, I'll show you that. But let's just send a hi. Tap on here and then we'll go send. And then to, uh, to, to connect it to a device, see you've got a plus here. So go to the last tab, click plus, and then we've selected we need to select the right device. Each device has a, a name or a number. So when you turn on your device, and this one's called the 5514, it comes up with a number on the screen, which I just had it, and then it's vanished because I was too slow to type it in. So let's just try it again. So you do the plus. 5514, number here, 469211. Type that in here. And then it starts to synchronize, and then you'll see that the little cloud, the little cloud, yeah, that's here, shows a tick. So you know you're connected now. So now you'll be able to, anything we receive, you're going to see here. And we are getting, look, one minute now you're starting to see, and I'm sorry it's not clear, clear, it's very bright up here. But you're starting to see there we've got Gareth. Oh, that's 15 days ago, so we got... Mr. Orange Van, that's one minute ago, with the location. I can tap location, it will take me to the map. We've got my device there, I recognize that, that's my other device. And we've got Russ and Bill Bags, so we've got a few there. So what we can do is we can message, we're on the same channel. Now to synchronize channel, I'll just say that you can go to QR code. Um, where is it, I found this the other day. There it is there, third one, fourth one along, QR code. You can copy and paste or do the QR code with your phone uh, by pressing scan here and it will just synchronize the channel. So we're just going to go long fast, which I'm pretty sure that's the one we're on. Now it will let me tie, type um, because we're, we're actually connected now. Let's just do that. Okay, and then it should come through on both devices, I believe, but it's definitely came through there. High hand, six seconds ago. Did it come through on here? Not sure if the sent message comes through, but you can then send it the other way. So you imagine that these are all lots of people's devices all around your area, and they're all just sending messages. And this, this is how you do it. And then the other thing is, 
the higher up you are, the better antenna, you're gonna get more signals, the better location, the more activity in your area. And um, why, why have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and a USB-C serial connection? It's so you can communicate with the device via PC or smartphone. iPhone works really well with these. Um, and control it, that's the basis. And, and what's the other benefits? Very, very low power consumption. And it's completely off-grid, 4G, 5G, Wi-Fi. You don't need any of that. And when I say Wi-Fi, I mean broadband, router, internet. You don't need it. They're just going to communicate and they're just great fun. So there you are. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now. 7-3.